Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your 2021 Halloween reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in the deck, the one deck that I am using, then it will be linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting ourselves feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Libra. What message does spirit have for Libra for Halloween 2021? Angels. And spirit guide, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Fantastic. So this reading is going to be, as you can see from the setup, just a bit different. It's going to be the story that spirit brings forward because on Halloween or Shawin, as it's called in Celtic tradition, we're going to find that the the veil between our earthly plane and the spirit world is really quite the thinnest and so here we're going to connect with that energy and see what it is that you know our spirit guides want us to know what it is that spirit wants us to know and we even what it is that you know people who watch over us want us to know so we have here the page of swords this is air sign energy this is us coming through as a child or as a learner as a student but there's also a message that we're getting so we're definitely going to be getting strong messages on halloween we have the high priestess we're seeing beyond the veil this could be overwhelming this could be a time that we are really connecting to the world of spirit if we want to you know read the cards or you know runes or whatever on this day do so you know if we want to sit in meditation you know connecting to spirit to loved ones to you know just even guidance this is the time to do it we're going to be hyper connected and that's going to be really beautiful moves us to cancer energy chariot energy the sense of our emotions but the wave of the emotions that are coming over us guiding us forward and us being able to rein them in so we're not going to be super overwhelmed though we might be quite overwhelmed by them we then have the four of cups there's a blessing coming in right there's something coming forward and yet it's not going to seem like a blessing it's not going to look like it the way spirit shows this to me is that there's this cup on the table and there are these beautiful gold cups the ones that we'd instantly be drawn to and then there's like this little bowl with fingers prints all over it that's you know a little bit misshapen a little bit you know looks very homemade right and we would go towards the gold cups we'd go towards the gold cups but if we knew who made that cup if we knew the love and the care that was put into the cup that is a little bit wobbly and and just you know looks like an ill-shaped bowl we're going to find that that would be the cup that we would absolutely always choose just because of the power that is within its its being. So here, there's something here where it's like the power in its being, we might not see the beauty of it now, but we may very well see it down the line. And well, actually we will see it down the line. And there's a sense of connection and there's a sense of understanding. We have the Eight of Swords. We're going, we can negate all of this, absolutely all of this by just being too much in our own heads. The Eight of Swords is like, we can live our whole lives and we all know people who live their whole lives in this place of doubt and fear and you know making cages around themselves so here it's just being very aware of that and it's not being and it's not letting that take away the power of this time for us because we're going to find that we are getting messages i mean we have the horse behind us here and the horse in in celtic tradition especially welsh tradition you know was the sign that they the horse could walk between worlds, could walk between the spirit world and the earthly plane. That's why the story of Rhiannon it is there because 
ran and the horse could could travel into the fairy world so what we're going to see here is that there are messages that come our way there's power there's insight there are, are ideas that come forward we can also find that this is a fantastic time to embrace just setting to work like starting a new project starting new ideas getting those ideas on paper that we've you know been hemming and hawing about and now we're saying you know why not why not to do this now why not embrace this for me and we're going to find that we're opening up doors that we we are a student we're going to find that we're we're learning in a very oh i'm so excited <laughs> that we're learning in a very real way and as we're learning as we're seeing as we're discovering it's like oh that's what that meant or oh that's what I need or oh that's where I want to be and it just opens up our mind it almost blows our mind and there are people around us now these could be people again in the spirit world that are watching over us that want us so so much to succeed it's almost like I want you to succeed where I couldn't succeed. Like times were different, things were different. I didn't have those opportunities or, you know, that wasn't even an idea in my world to be able to do. But now that I know that you can, I want you to take that leap of faith. I want you to go after it. The the high priestess, the veil is thin. The veil is thin. We're seeing people for who they are, not who we want them to be. You know what? Not what we demand of them. But it's like, this is who I am. Like it? Great. Don't like it? That's okay too. You know, we're going to find that we can be disappointed as the veil is lifted, as the masks come off. But we're also going to say, wow, you know, I thought that person was somebody they weren't, or I thought that that job or living in that, that house or that place would be more than what it is. And now I'm seeing that I need this in my life. Like I want this in my life. I'm grounding myself. I'm opening to my ideas and my heart and my dream and what I desire. And I'm moving myself forward, honestly, openly, and cherishingly to where I want to be. This is like the Oracle of Delphi. You know, with the magician, we have the magician standing before the altar of his being, right? He comes to the masses and stands before the altar and declares. People come to the Oracle of Delphi and spend their whole lives trying to figure out exactly what she meant. And that's what we do. We're going to be finding here that we go to this deeper knowledge. It, it comes to us, but it's deep within us. And excuse me, when we spend our whole lives unraveling, unraveling the deeper meaning, unraveling the deeper understanding, unravel unraveling the deeper connection. And that's, that's a beautiful thing that is absolutely exquisite. So things are going to be intense and we might have to tell spirit, you know, it's a little bit too intense, but we're going to be able to take these waters. We're going to be able to take these emotions and rein them in. We're not, we can... So what spirit is showing is that yes, we can be absolutely, you know, taken by surprise, taken on a ride and think, my goodness, you know, my golly, like, how am I going to withstand this? How am I going to hold on to this? How am I going to be able to balance this or understand this? And what spirit is saying here is like, as we acknowledge these emotions, as we acknowledge everything that's coming our way, we look at that one thread, that one thread that we need to gain the understanding of that we need to, to focus on. And we form that thread into the horses because we have two horses here. So this is the god Mamenin of the sea. And he is he's leading his horses you know he's having his chariot be drawn by the ocean and that's what we're going to have we're going to have ourselves being able to harness that energy and drive our chariot drive our emotions and yet have the force of the ocean backing us up something is coming something is coming that i mean really right now if we if we looked at it if we had to to name it or if we had to name it as we're going through it it's like it doesn't feel like a blessing it feels like my gosh this is hard and my goodness i didn't expect this to be this hard this overwhelming or this much time this much work but the payoff the payoff is big the payoff is powerful the payoff is more than we do thought it was going to be and it brings us to the eight of swords we have to get out of our own heads because we can negate all of this by saying I'm not worthy, by doubting that we have any right to, you know, by denying ourselves, by pushing ourselves back and, and down and and not embracing our passion, our power, our talents and not seeing them. It's maybe not even not embracing it. It can absolutely be that we're at that place in our lives where we don't see it. We think everybody else has talent, everybody else has skills and we're just existing. And spirit saying, you know, if that's the case, look at yourself with openness and with honesty and realize that you are so much more than what you're underselling yourself as. Take time, connect with your heart. Take time, be a student of your emotions. Look at that chaos. Talk to a spiritual advisor. Talk to somebody who can hold sacred space for you, which sounds 
maybe corny when we first hear it, but a person who will sit there and just kind of clear their energy and say, I'm here for you. I'm here for you in a way that has me showing up, in a way that has me shutting up, in a way that has me being able to connect. And that, that is powerful. And maybe we just need to do that to ourselves. We need to show up and shut up and say, you know, how do I emotionally need myself to not be caged, to not be held back, to not be kept down? Our subconscious message here is the Ace of Swords. This is God's Source Spirit handing us this gift handing us this power. We take it. We absolutely take it. We cut through doubts. We cut through fears. We cut through neg negativity. We find our voice. We find our power. We find our insight. We are embracing this passion and nothing and no one can stop us. There's a sense of clarity coming. And as that clarity comes, we see things just in a different way and in a more powerful way. All right. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace this Halloween. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra, and may you have a blessed Halloween. <laughs>